Good morning, this is Dr. Lee with another episode of Derm Path Made Easy. And today we have a Massan's tumor, another name for Massan's tumor is intravascular papillary endothelial hyperplasia. So you would expect to see something within a blood vessel, intravascular papillary, which is the shape of the lesion and endothelial hyperplasia. Endothelial cells are uh, lining of blood vessels or, or the cell type that lines blood vessels. So we'll be able to see all of those constituents in this lesion today. And um, let's look at clinically what, how this lesion appears. And as you can see here, these things are, uh, they typically, first of all, they're fairly common and they typically occur on the head and neck or distal extremities. Those are probably the most common sites. And here you can see a lesion on the lip and here is a lesion on the foot. Um, the natural history of these lesions are they, they can, rapidly enlarge and oftentimes it can be pigmented and usually patients are pretty pretty uh, worried about these lesions then they go quickly to get a biopsy or removed. So um, the name would suggest that it is a tumor and we have to remember all the time that tumor doesn't necessarily mean something that is malignant. This is a benign lesion and in fact it's just a mass and what we're what's actually happening here is there is <clears throat> a thrombosis or uh, you know forming a blood clot within either a lesion uh, with within either a normal blood vessel usually a vein or it could be within a um, like another vascular lesion like a hemangioma and that's what we have in this case it looks here like if you look from low power we have this large uh, nodule right here and here you have some crust on top so that you can see why this thing lesion would be pretty atypical uh, to the patient <clears throat> But if you pay closer attention out here to the lateral side, you see that this red stuff in here, that those are red blood cells and they're contained within a blood vessel. And you can make out here, these are sort of, this is a vascular structure. And here's another vascular structure, the clear space. So the, this is a pre-existing lesion and uh, pre-existing hemangioma. And here you have the vessel is literally just pressed up right underneath the epidermis, making you wonder if this is an angiokeratoma or something like this that the that the thrombus was within and if we come towards the middle of the lesion here you can see this is <clears throat> sort of if you remember from medical school these are your lines of zon um, you have an area of darker red stuff those are your red blood cells in between and here you have this stuff uh this pinker stuff here that's admixed fibrin and platelets and you know of course some red blood cells and so you have these kind of alternating patterns here. Remember, this is called lines of thine. And what that tells you is that this lesion happened in situ. And what I mean by that is it happened within the patient, uh, not, not in situ. Yeah, <laughs> bottom line, it happened within the patient. Uh, and it's not something that after the lesion was taken out, blood clotted. So, that, you know, this, this shows that we have some kind of uh, chronicity to this lesion and and there is a uh, some, some time relation because it doesn't happen all at once so we have a thrombus a large thrombus and then portions of the thrombus here <clears throat> so this was a thrombus before as well these things have recanalized which means that uh, <clears throat> there's an you know new growth of endothelial cells and it's trying to kind of make way for blood to pass through this area um, that's what recanalize mean. And here, this this area here in the middle here, <clears throat> we have um, these are sort of uh, our papillary structures. And you know, like this structure here, it's hard to tell that it's a papilla. But imagine these things are sort of like if you're flying over uh, a city and you're looking down on buildings. This little structure here is pretty much just coming out straight at you. But and then you have these structures here, right? Um, those are you know a, a little bit better. Um, example of these papilla so this is just just remember when you have like stuff like this floating in the middle of nowhere it's it's papilla and you can see this in things like um you know when you're looking at the uh, placenta it looks just kind of like this okay so here's another kind of forming you know thrombus and then some areas have been recanalized and if you look closer within these papilla there there are some areas will be fibrin some areas will be hyalinized um, so this is a Massan's tumor. Let's look at another example. This is an example taken off a path presenter, and you can see a similar kind of lesion. This lesion is uh, not so close 
to the epidermal surface, but you have, again, these, these papilla or papillary structures. And uh, so <clears throat> this is more papillary arrangement, but you can see that there's a lot of these things that are cut in cross section. It's hard to tell that it's a papilla. But, <clears throat> um, and let's look around here. You can see that it's involving a large blood vessel here. This is the vessel wall and endothelial cells are out in the area, out, out here. You can see those uh, sort of thin, um, uh, not, thin cells lining the blood vessel, the endothelial cells, and papillary structures that are just contained within. Okay, so just as a summary here, we have a lesion. Uh, <clears throat> this is a Masson's tumor, and Masson's tumor can either happen within a pre-existing blood vessel, or it can happen within a vascular lesion, like in this case, a hemangioma. So this is actually a process um, where you have a thrombus developing within a blood blood vessel or pre-existing uh, sorry pre-existing blood vessel or an actual vascular lesion, um, and then it undergoes recanalization, and that's why we form these papillary structures. Papillary structures can have hyaline, or it can be still have some uh, fibrin within the core. Thanks guys. If this has helped you at all, please like, subscribe, and share with other people that you think it would help. Until next time.